so this video is going to be about setting up Mod Organizer 2 with Starfield to work with SFSE, Starfield Script Extender, as well as Jedi's uh, Script Hook, Jedi Script Hook, right? And Baka Achievement Enabler. You can also want Plugins.Text Enabler and Baka disabled my games and all of this is to get it so that you can install plugin based mods like this investment perk mod that uses a .esm file and all of this is so you not you don't use the s test file setting in your starfield custom in all right first thing you're going to do Let's go ahead and make a folder that we want to install Mod Organizer 2 into. So, I'm going to put it on my F drive under Modern. I already have an MO2 folder, that's my old one. That's the one I'm using. I'm going to create a new folder. I'm going to do MO2A. All right, open that folder. We're going to go ahead and go to Google Mod Organizer 2. Their website is www.modorganizer.org. You're going to click on that. You're going to scroll down to where it says need help and click on Discord. That will bring up this window. Instead of saying continue to Discord, it's going to say something about invite. Click on the invite link to in join that channel. I already have this channel, so I don't need that. So I open my Discord. I'm going to open up that channel, Mod Organizer 2, under Dev Releases and Dev Builds. There's going to be two things. 2.5.0 Beta 14, download the archive, and then Patch 5 for Beta 14, the Mod Organizer EXE. Download both of these. Now, depending on your system, Windows, Firewall, Security, whatever, might block this. So, in, in a couple of different ways too. So if you click on this, click download, click continue, it's first going to say this file is NEXE, blah, blah, blah. Are you sure you want to download it? Keep file. Click on the arrow, keep anyway. And it downloaded it. Sometimes it may even come up in Windows Security or Windows Defender. So Windows Security. Virus and Threat Protection, Protection History, and then you're going to click on this arrow. You're going to get the user account control pop-up. Do you want to allow this program to make changes? Yes. And under here, it's going to tell you the, the program that's causing the problem. For me, it was Advanced Weapon Tears mod. I don't know why it did that one for some strange odd reason, but it did. So. It's going to have an option down here, like a drop-down arrow or something. And then you're just going to click on that arrow and select Allow. Now, it already deleted the file, so re-download it again after you click on Allow. It will no longer block that file. This might happen for Starfield Script Extender. It might happen for Mod Organizer 2. It might happen for Jedi Script Extender. All, because all of these files are DLLs and EXEs. It, it, for whatever re re reason, Windows does not like downloading those files when they're not from a trusted source like, say, I don't know, Firefox or Google or something. Because Microsoft provides a certificate to Google, and then Google then uses that certificate to s apply a signature to the the program that way when you go to install windows will see that signature and be like oh you're from google well these third-party apps like mod organizer 2 and stuff like that they're not getting signatures from microsoft so you're gonna get these virus pop-ups and stuff like that from them but as long as it's coming from a reputable source like nexus mods or mod organizers 2 officials website and discord you are okay. Same goes for Xedit. If I go to Xedit and try to download this, continue to download, okay, this time it worked. But sometimes it will pop up that error as well. But anyway, so now we're going to 
go to our downloads folder. And not even one second. I'm getting a bunch of messages. All right, nothing important at the moment. Uh, we're going to go to Mod Organizer, choose Archive, open that up. I have 7-zip, maybe WinRAR or whatever. I, I prefer 7-zip. Google 7-zip. It comes up 7-zip.org. Go to there and download it. Download your x86 or x x64 don't think anybody should be using x86 anymore but still all right there's your 7-zip so we opened up 7-zip now we're going to go back to the folder i created on my f drive mod and mo2a and i'm going to copy this into there Then we had that patch file, so let's take the patch file, copy, paste the patch file. Now you're going to want to launch Mod Organizer 2, because we need to create a new instance. Next, create a portable instance, Starfield, use profile specific game mini files. Next. Now, what I like to do here is I add a starfield, dash starfield. That's going to make a separate folder inside the folder called starfield, and that's where all the mod files will go. So, next, finished. So, if I go back here, now I have a starfield folder. And in there, you have downloads, mods, override, whatever. You're going to want to go to tools settings plugins under game scroll down to starfield enable plugin management management true okay that enables that close that now another thing you need to do is go into your profiles default folder so again modern mo2 starfield profiles default folder open your Starfield custom in. And this file probably got imported from whichever one you already had made. You want to make sure you have these two entries and validate older files as resource data and then scroll down and delete all your S test file. Delete. And save. Close. Talking like crazy over there. Sorry about that. All right. Now, reopen Mod Organizer 2. And as you can see, my merge.esm is there. I can click on it and enable it. We're good to go. All right. So you now, we want to download Plugin Text Enabler, Bakker Achievement, Bakker No Games, the Investment Mod, whatever other stuff you might want. Not only that, but uh, let's go back in here. One other thing to show you. If you are using Starfield Script Extender with Jedi Script Hook, you're going to want to go Edit, under SFSE, Force Load Library, Configure, Add Row. Load Starfield EXE in this first one, and then the script uh, Starfield Script Hook DLL. That's Jedi Script Hook program as the other one okay apply okay so now it will launch ssse starfield script extender and jedi script hook together no other nothing else needed now you're going to click on this button here to install your mods i'm going to go to downloads bakker achievement enabler check off Baka and my get rid of my games folder check off and we're going to uh, where is it this is the plug plugging enabler plugin text enabler I should have renamed that plugin text enabler 
folder. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and install. Do I need anything else? Oh, address library. So address library, gonna wanna change the priority. Right, come on. Let's make address library zero because address library is required by these two. So you want to change your load order. All right. And then finally, we can install the investment mod. Check that off and check off Inquisitor. So now, this automatically creates your load order and your plugin text file. That will be in the MO2 Starfield Profile default folder, plugins.txt. See? It automatically created it. Load order. Load order is automatically created by a mod organizer. See? Created by a mod organizer. You don't need to manually edit these files. See, if I go to my old one, I have a different plugins text and a different load order with 26 items instead of the seven. So you can even have multiple instances of mo what mods are installed by doing this, by having multiple versions, multiple instances created. Go ahead and get rid of that. And I think hotkeys. I think the hotkeys folder is still in a file. I think the hotkeys files are still in the my games folder for some strange odd reason. But everything else goes into profiles. My games. Yeah, there's the hotkeys file. For some reason, that hotkeys file stays in my, in my games folder. I don't know why that one does, but it does. Everything else, custom mini, prefs, plugins, load order, they're all in the profile folder. All your mods are in separate folders in here. So, if I go to, this is the new one that I just made, Baka, Inquisitor, Investment, plugin enabler, all of them are separate folders with their individual files. So if somebody didn't set up their, their archive properly and it has a data folder in there, then you might need to move it around. You don't want a data folder. There should be no data folder in here. So if a plugin is not working, open up your mod folder, open up the plugin that you just installed and make sure everything shows up as if that this folder acts as the data folder so your textures should be right in there textures no data that and then textures no just textures you don't need a data folder everything go whatever's in data that shows up directly in this folder sfse SM, whatever. So now everything is in here. Nothing is in, the only stuff that is in the main game folder is main game folder. The only stuff that's in my main game folder is my Starfield script extender, my Jedi script hook, uh, this file that this program I found on the Nexus, uh, Starfield GM ST editor. This allows you to find settings to put in your custom any, like flight camera settings and whatever. Um, your ASI and reshade DLLs, they go in here. That stuff that needs to be with the starfield.exe goes in the main game folder. But anything that goes into data does not. The only exception to that is if you are using XEdit. So I use XEdit to merge a bunch of plugins down. So my merged ESM is in here. 
only because it needs to be in there for XEdit to find it. XEdit will not find what I have in the Mod Organizer 2 folder. So in that case, Inquisitor is here. So if I open up XEdit, Inquisitor does not show up on the list because Inquisitor is not in the, the data folder. That's the only, the only one I keep in the data folder, and that's just so I can edit it. All right. So I hope this helps. Again, your any files be, go into profile default, other than the, the hockey is one. The hockey one goes into my game still. And your mods all show up in here as separate folders. Starfield mods. If you follow this instructions to the T, this is the easiest way to install mods. Because all you do is go to Nexus, pick a mod, like, uh, what is it? Melee. Somebody did the melee, yeah, there's the melee weapon mod. I believe this is an ESM as well, right? Uh, that doesn't say. Down, yeah, plug, plug in, okay. download. And then I click on that. And then DN's melee. Okay, check it off, check it off, done. It just works. The only problem you might have is you might have to go into here and make sure everything is in the base directory. No data folder. It should automatically figure that out because I believe, yeah, see, he had a data folder. So MO2 automatically moved it over. He already had a data folder, but MO2 no knows what to do with that data folder. Right? So it automatically moved it over. Uh, let's see if that's the case with investment yeah you have a data folder so yes mod organizer 2 automatically knows to get rid of that data folder so that's not even a problem all right hope that helps anybody have any questions go ahead and type them in the comments i'll try to get back to you